Well, hello there, traders. Welcome to Traders Fly TV. I'm Sasha Evdikov, and thanks for joining me. Today, we're going to talk about some trade setups and what happened in the market, and that way you can get an insight of how to look for certain trade setups, how to spot certain trends, and when to get in and get out of some trades. Again, these are momentum and dynamic trades that you're looking for a swing position and uh, looking for the movement in the stock price. This is not uh, in income option strategies, which I'll start to uh, blog and do a little bit more insight and tra training about that a little bit later in the next couple months. In either case, here's what we got. And uh, let's just start out with uh, the first one, Facebook. Now I talked about Facebook for quite some time. I mentioned that the 50 is a critical level for Facebook. Now we had this gap over here uh, in the past and uh, this gap kind of uh, was the epitome I guess for the stock to come down and retest this level right here on nice volume now the stock since then uh, after it tested it has risen back up and it moved past the $50 mark and uh, you know after it did that it's continued higher in the strength and now it's creating new highs and what I think about this stock is that it could be a stealth mover by stealth mover, I mean that it could be climbing to 100 and people just blink and say, oh, wow, Facebook's at 100. You know, there's not too much discussion. It's not a lot of uh, stock that's creating a ton of noise or any issues, but it's moving. It's, it's kind of moving out there and it could be a good trade if you have some shares, you know, at the 49 or 55 or or $50.50 .50 mark, you know, just use that as your stop. So if it hits those levels, then just get out. But in either case, this one's been doing a lot of uh, trends up in the stair step pattern, as I talked about in some of my uh, earlier videos. As you can see here, it's creating stair step patterns and more stair step patterns. And this is what it did. And I traded this whole trend up this way and uh, use the gap as my stop here and uh, you know so this is a great moving stock um, you know depending on when you entered so remember trade the trade not the market um, okay so looking at apple the next one i talked about this one and i was a lot more bearish on the apple stock for quite some time in this region because it had a lot of gaps uh, i was seeing a lot of negative uh, things in the charts and the technicals for this stock. Now, I thought it would go negative right here in this region, but it didn't. So I had to cover my position and I talked about the last week that 500 is key for this stock. And right now it broke 500 and it's moving to the upside. Now, it's not doing it on anything heavy volume, uh, but it can still move to the upside for quite some time or volume can just kick in. Now, again, I still wanna watch these next few critical areas. I wanna watch this region right here at about the 510 level and see what the stock does with that. Uh, but right now it's moving to the upside and it broke 500, so that's a very nice level. SanDisk today did very well. The stock was consolidating and uh, setting up some uh, momentum over the last three to four months. Uh, since June actually and uh, today earnings came out and so forth and the stock was running high it, If we look at the five-minute chart You can see that it gapped up here and you want to always be careful on the earlier gaps because it could retest this level um, And if it retests that level then obviously uh, You know you're using this as your stop But that's why I say if you're very new do not trade the first 30 to 45 minutes because you don't know which way things are going to head but in either case the volume on this, if you look at it, was nearly, uh, you know, 10 times, 100 times more than uh, the earlier days of volume. So over here, it gapped up with nice, solid volume. The earnings were pretty good, and it just continued moving higher, and it ended uh, higher on the day, and it pushed higher into strength, and that's what you want to see. You want to get good at learning to read these types of charts and uh, what's happening with the company itself. Now, I do want to mention a couple of uh, other smaller stocks. Uh, just something to uh, to watch over here or something that are less popular, for example. Uh, tech right here had, again, a little bit of a setup happening. And again, push higher into strength. And if we look at the five-minute, similar thing like SanDisk, boom, moving higher and a nice solid trend line to the open or to towards the close, I'm sorry. Um, and finally, CECE. It's not normally one that I watch, but over the last week uh, after it broke this a pattern again since March it was building this uh, triangle pattern and then all of a sudden 
boom, broke to the upside here on the 30th and continued moving higher in the strength. Now this one I didn't even uh, trade, it didn't catch my radar, it wasn't there uh, because I didn't. I don't trade usually stuff less than twenty dollars. They don't move as fast, but sometimes I do scan them from time to time just for other investment purposes. Also, I want to talk about Netflix. Uh, one last one, uh, just like the um, five hundred level is for Apple. This one is pushing here at this three thirty level, and right here we just got over that three thirty oh one. If we zoom in on the thirty minute, you can see where or why I talked about this 330 level is because right here, boom, it's creating this high at that 330. Also some other key points right here that it got over, uh, also creating some nice levels at uh, 319 and it broke past that. So let me remove that one so you can see. Okay, so that's a little bit cleaner of a chart. So as you can see today, uh, or over the last, not today, but over the last couple of days, broke through that creating some new patterns uh, looking at the 10 minute here um, you know it's it's in this range and now it's pushing higher towards the end of the day and that's what you want to see now Netflix does move a little bit more violently so if you're trading this one you want to be a little bit more careful uh, but that's what's been happening with this stock and, and as you can see since uh, quite some time after I did a few gaps here it's it's been trending fairly well and fairly smooth uh, you know towards the upside okay so in either case those were the recaps that um, I checked out for today now I didn't trade so much um, today or the last couple days actually because I was working on some new material on my stock trading foundation course just because um, I had a lot of requests for a foundational course more about the charts the technicals and uh, I got the sales page finally up for everybody and my newsletter subscribers will get a discount on Monday when the package and courses arrive but you can order them now right away uh, and they'll just ship out on Monday uh, so if you're not on the newsletter and you want the discount go ahead get on the newsletter at um, my website traders fly and then you'll get a link to a discount to purchase some of the new material uh, that I've been working on and that'll all be launching this week now I don't promote too much of my stuff I just it's there if you want it if it's if you don't want it then by all means that's okay you get a free video out of it uh, I just want to help and contribute to you to make sure that you're looking uh, properly at your stock charts you're reading things correctly and give you some guidance because for me it's about helping and contributing back to other people that have um, you know desire to learn the motivation to learn I want to see you succeed because I was there where you're at. I didn't have a lot of money. We grew up, uh, just give you a quick background, I was born in Siberia, Russia, so we were dirt poor. And uh, you know, right now I'm just trying to give back to a business that's uh, you know changed my life quite a bit. And in either case, so I hope this video helped you out to give you a little thoughts and insight about the stock market recap. Again, if you want the course, you can check it out and purchase it. Again, they'll ship out in a couple days when the box and packaging arrives. Um, and uh, if you want to get some more freebies, you can sign up to my newsletter. In either case, if you have any questions, any questions whatsoever, feel free to just go ahead and write to me and I will be sure to you know get back to you as soon as I can and leave your phone number if you want sometimes I even do random phone calls to just privately talk with some people and get back to them in detail with the um, w with what they were asking me or with their questions and with the answers so go ahead if you have questions write them down and don't be shy I'm happy to answer as many as I can and uh, thanks for watching. Remember to do what you love, contribute to others, and most importantly, live life abundantly. All right, see you next time.